Refining our layout by working with our views is straightforward. If we wanted to get rid of a view, we would simply erase that particular view. If we wanted to now move these, keeping their alignment in common, we could use a regular move command. However, I will turn off the auto update functionality so that as I move the objects, the system won't waste resources trying to regenerate them. I will take care to turn that auto update functionality back on when I'm done though. Because what we want to do now is move into the base view, which is here, and we can actually see that via the tooltip here. We'll double click on this, which is functionally equivalent to editing of the view. I'll now go up here to the appearance ribbon tab where I could change the shaded visibility criteria. Now notice that as I do that, that change cascades through to the other views. And the reason is when a change is made to the base, all dependent views which were projected from it will also receive that change. I'll go ahead and acknowledge OK up here to save my changes. So now that we've got our layout set up with the appropriate number of views and arranged, we can start looking at doing some annotative work by doing things like details and sections, which we'll look at next.